What it do, y'all? Brand Tuck Gang Forever. Just watched the last preseason game for the Texans, Houston Texans versus Dallas Cowboys. We beat them 28-17 uh, or something like that. Can't really brag on a game like this because it's the last preseason game, and preseason really doesn't <clears throat> matter like that. But I saw some good things still, man. The thing I was really focusing on is how good the running backs were looking because that is a spot where we're still kind of figuring things out. I wanted to see how Jalen Strong was going to look out there because I know he's going to get a few reps. And then I was looking at Tom Savage since they played him. I personally don't think he should have played because if you remember last season, he got hurt in the, last, in the final preseason game. And a little bit on that, I think we faked the injury for him. Because, you know, uh, teams usually keep two quarterbacks. And we had both paid Brian, I mean, we had paid Brian Hoyer and Ryan Mallett some decent money to be, you know, quarterbacks. So, I think that, I mean, Tom Savage was the most consistent during preseason that year, last year. And because we knew that, well, for the most part, you know, we knew that Brian Hoyer and Ryan Mallett were kind of bridge quarterbacks. You know, I think I think that Bill O'Brien believed that Tom Savage could still possibly be the future. So instead of cutting him, he had him fake an injury so he could put him on injury reserve. I mean, that's just what I believe. Because if you look at him now in this game, he looks like a starter to me. <clears throat> now, of course, you're not going to start him over over Osweiler, and Osweiler is looking pretty tough out there. You know, I'm just saying, I have two quarterbacks that I believe in. Anyway, that's last season. Let's get back to this game. <clears throat> Tom Savage looked pretty good out there, man. Um, you know, I, I, I wish we didn't leave him on the field that long. We should, I, I feel like we should have given... Brandon Whedon more reps, you know, let him have the majority of the reps, let him have the whole game, but, you know, that's what I would have done, but I'm not a coach, I work a regular job, you know, Bill O'Brien gets paid to make these decisions, so he made the decision that he felt was best. Now, of course, Tom Savage outplayed Brandon Whedon, so I believe that Brandon, Whed uh, Brandon Whedon's going to get cut and Tom Savage is going to get that for sure number two spot. Now, <clears throat> You know, Mumphrey's had some good looks out there, but I think it's going to be tough for him. Cecil Shorts also has some good looks out there. And it's it just shows you how things change because last year, Cecil Shorts was on the sidelines because he made the team. This year, he's on the bubble because we're so deep at receiver. So, I think it's going to be tough for Mumphrey's and tough for Cecil Shorts. And even that number 14 guy, he has some good uh, catches but, I mean, of course, I, I doubt he makes it. But at running back, man, of course you got Lamar Miller starting. I like Hunt. Akeem Hunt. Hmm. Hilliard. And I, I, and I really, I, I like, I like Tyler Irvin. Those three, they need to make the team somehow. Okay, so that means Grimes will probably end up getting cut. Um, me personally, I wouldn't hold on to Alfred Blue. I think he had two years to kind of show himself. And even last year, when Foster was hurt, he really didn't do anything spectacular. So I would roll with, you know, of course, Lamar Miller, you paid him. Um, Hilliard, Hunt, Hunt would probably be my number two. And then Tyler Irvin, you could do some, you know, some special teams you know, a uh, third down back type thing with him. But um, this video is going to be pretty short because what I was looking at, you know, I didn't pay too much. I, I mean, I was paying attention, but there was a certain things I was looking at, man, and that was pretty much it. And that other defensive end spot, I'm just wondering, like, are we going to go Covington, Christian Covington, on the other side, J.J. Watt when he gets back? Are we going to go Christian Covington, or are we going to go with uh, Devin Steele, man? Um... These are things I'm just looking at, man. But overall, 
good good game, man. Even the Texans, even the guys who weren't making the team, they just played with that intensity that my starters have been playing with this whole preseason to take us to being undefeated in the preseason. But now the goal is to take that intensity and that attitude and allow it to transfer into the regular season because preseason doesn't count. But September 11, we open up against the Bears, man. I need a victory, you know. I'm hearing reports that it's possible that J.J. Watt could play week one. It's not set in stone or we still trying to figure things out, man. But even without J.J. Watt out there, you know, in the preseason, we're looking pretty decent. So having him out there would be a plus. And I can't wait to see these guys next game to just see some, you know, some, some. I, we get the real deal with this, man. But y'all know what it is, man. That's it. That's all I'm going to hit you with. Houston Texans undefeated in the preseason. Uh, Bread to Rob. Houston Texans. H-Town all day. Y'all move to take it easy.